Hello there, and welcome to my very messy garden shed. As you can probably already tell by the title of this video, I'm here today with a video about moths and moth traps. And I just want to point out my very mothy t-shirt that I'm wearing, uh, especially for this video. Um, not my normal go-to to apparel, uh, I must admit, but I thought I'm making a video about moths. How can I not wear my fantastic moth t-shirt? So, moth traps. What are they? Why should you care? Now, I imagine that most of you, given the sort of niche topic of uh, sort of moth catching, uh, most of you are sort of probably already aware what a moth trap is. Uh, but for those who just accidentally found themselves here out of some weird curiosity, a moth trap is not a way to exterminate moths. It's actually a way of recording and viewing moths in a humane manner. So at the end of your moth trapping, actually all the moths get released back into the habitat. So uh, no moths will be harmed in the uh, making and utilising of this moth trap. But why am I making a moth trap and not just buying one? Now again, I imagine that uh, a lot of you who've ended up here have already looked at buying a moth trap online and been absolutely blown away by the prices. We're talking hundreds of pounds for what doesn't seem on, on the face of it a lot. Um, so I thought I would have a go at trying to make my own one using very much sort of the similar materials. Now, little disclaimer, um, I am terrible at making things, so expect this to be very much a bodge job. Um, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it will come out okay. Uh, and either way, I will be sure to share the results with you. Um, I imagine that for anyone new here, anyone who doesn't really know anything about moths and probably confused to why they're watching this video, um, moths are great. Um, I know they have a lot of bad press, kind of these eerie creatures of the night, uh, but generally they're some of the most amazing insects you can find and in some ways rival their butterfly cousins when it comes to colour and size etc. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to show you some fantastic specimens um, in the morning when um, we put this thing to use um, and then hopefully if you uh, have never been interested in moths before this video might change your mind and you might start paying them a, a wee bit more attention. Uh, but without further ado let's get on with some moth trap building. So first of all we have uh, a big white bucket I suppose. Next up is just a, a funnel. Um, this one I believe is 18 centimeters in diameter. This is our fluorescent light bulb. Uh, so black light aka uh, a UV light bulb. You can either use UV or you can use bright white bulbs. The reason that some people go for the UV lights is that they tend to be a bit more friendly if you're going to be using it in sort of built up areas. Um, the light is a lot dimmer. Nothing interesting this one. This is just so you can run the light uh, from the mains rather than using a generator. Um, obviously you, you could if you were more technically able than I am to run it from batteries etc. But this is this is easy so this is what I've gone for in this circumstance. Now this is where I have made uh, a little bit of an error already. I thought I had a proper, I think they're called like lamp spiders or lamp bulb spiders. They're sort of the the white plasticky bit that goes inside light bulbs to hold the bulb in place. Um, I thought I had one of those. I don't. I have one of these. I'm going to make it work. I'll show you later. And finally, some egg boxes. Uh, the egg boxes are basically to put inside the white bucket uh, to give the moths a place to cling onto and hide when they slip in there. First things first, um, I'm just going to measure the um, hole that I need to cut the top of the bucket. Obviously, we want your funnel to fit in without falling all the way down. So uh, try and get it sort of somewhere in the middle and then um, draw a marking around it. Like so. And if you're <coughs> interested how I'm cutting the hole, um, I effectively punched a hole through it, uh, got a pair of kitchen scissors, and uh, I'm just cutting out like that. Um, you don't need any sort of special tools or anything. Um, this seems to work um, very well, in fact. Doesn't it? 
Anyway, so what next? So funnel. So what will happen is the moths uh, eventually, when we put it all together, will hopefully get attracted by the light, go around, end up in this, and then slip in into the trap. Now, obviously, at the minute, this uh, this funnel bit here, if you can see it on the screen. Okay, there we go. Uh, this funnel bit here, we obviously need to cut it because at the minute, this 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 whole bit here, which should be going in the top of here, is too small. So unless you're a really small moth, um, lots of the big stuff is gonna gonna get caught and isn't actually gonna fall into the trap where we want them, and that means they can probably crawl out and fly away into the night. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to cut ish along this line here and effectively what we're looking to create is sort of the end of the funnel. So here about five centimeters or so in length across. Um, so yeah about about there I'm probably going to cut and then we'll, we'll just see where we get to but as I say yeah, I sort of want a circle with a diameter of about yeah five, five centimeters or so uh, and then that will sit nicely in there um, once we've done it that'll be all right so it's about five and a half five and a bit but yeah that should be just fine so um, i've given the base of the funnel just uh, a little sand down um I'll, when i was thinking about it after the last clip um there were quite actually a lot of jagged edges left um due to the saw um, and I didn't want to leave the moths to potentially damage their wings um, on the sides of this so yeah I would definitely give it a smooth down um, if you have any jagged edges left after you um, cut the bottom off. Alright then so uh, before we put the funnel inside um, we're going to put the egg boxes inside the bucket so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of put them around the bottom to begin with um, so it's following the sort of the shape of the bucket so that's sort of what it looks like inside and just one of the main things to be aware of um, when you're doing this bit is that you don't want the moths escaping and what will happen is if you pile the egg boxes up too high the moths will uh, escape through this hole so you just need to make sure that you've got a bit of a gap um, between the sort of entrance and exit hole and your egg boxes just so the moths can't escape. Okay, so I've now pushed my funnel down so it's now flush at the top of my bucket and it's now time to do all the lighting and fixtures of the light. So what my plan of action now is, is I'm probably going to do something like this. When I have the bulb inside, I'll probably have it something sort of hanging up like that, just above the hole, hopefully to trap and sort of encourage them in. So what I'm going to do first, because I'm now sort of relying on this handle to support my light bulb, is I'm just going to mask the handles here, just to sort of fix them in, in place. Um, because the last thing we want them doing is over the night tipping down like that. I'm hoping it should hold. Um, you know, if in doubt, gaffer. So, um, yeah. So, I've had to go a little bit box job because as I say, without the actual proper lamp spider that I was hoping to use, it's very, very difficult, but hopefully that sort of gives you the idea of ish how it's meant to look. You can definitely <clears throat> make it look a lot neater, uh, especially if you sort of know what you're doing. But, you know, I know people have used sort of steel rods, um, the proper spiders, um, but yeah. Ultimately, what you want is for the light bulb to be suspended above the hole effectively um, as I say it's not a beauty pageant I don't think anyone's really going to care and you'll be using it in the night so in case you're scared about anyone looking at your handiwork don't worry they're not going to notice so 
So there we have it, the moth trap building part of the video is complete. Um, I did warn you that it was going to be very much a bodge job as I sort of made it up as I was going along. Um, I have no doubt that many of you out there will be much better with your hands and uh, far more accurate and precise about these sort of things and will be able to create works of art compared to this weird creature thing that I botched together. Um, but ultimately, as I, as I said, you're using it at night, no one's going to see it and the moths certainly don't care, um, they just want the light. So I do think it will work, but there is only one way to find out. So let's flash forward to tonight.